Welcome back to an old man and a frying pan. Today I'm making uh, chicken piccata. It's one of my uh, favorite uh, dishes to eat. It, uh, it's made with uh, lemons, flattened chicken that are dredged in uh, flour. You salt and pepper the chicken. It has lemon juice in it, white wine, and capers. And when it's um, when uh, once you've cooked it, you let the sauce reduce and then you put the chicken back in to uh, warm back up. And uh, it really is a uh, simple, but a very tasty dish. I'm preparing the chicken. I've already hammered these out, made them nice and flat. And I'm just doing this one. Just make sure you've got some, you've got some plastic wrap over the chicken and give it a good uh, hit. Flatten it out. And then when it, once you're happy with it, I, this one's a little large, so I'm just gonna cut it in half. Like so. Let's do the other little piece that's left. Again, cover it, hit it. You see how easy it is to flatten it out, nice and flat. We'll put it in here, on here. My next stage is just to salt and pepper it. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna start dredging the chicken and the flour, like so. I don't know if you can see that, so I'll move it over. I'm just uh, doing it very quickly here. Give it a shake. All of them have to be done. So there we go. Give it a shake. Give it another shake. I've made this dish lots of times for uh, Christmas because it, it just is a great uh, little uh, uh, starter dish for for food when you're having lots of courses. Just tasty, tasty, tasty. There we go. So that's all ready to go. Um, so let's, uh, what I've done is I've uh, put a, about two tablespoons or teaspoons um, of butter in the pan with olive oil. I bought a, a quarter cup of olive oil and I began, I've heated, heated it up. You don't want this too hot. Um, so then all you do is you start frying. And you can see right away it's starting to bubble. It's a very soft, soft cooking. It only takes about a couple of minutes a piece on each side. So we'll let that start. And when we're done, I'll bring you back. Flip the chicken over and I'm giving it another couple of minutes on this side and then we'll start with the uh, rest of it. First batch is done and I'm taking them out and put them on a paper towel on a plate. I'm just letting them sit there until I'm ready to put them back into the, uh, into the sauce. So there we go. And I'm gonna start again with the new, uh, the new pieces. Straight in like so and you can see it's you know, for two chicken breasts this is uh one two three four five six seven eight pieces this this would feed uh four people uh with the uh, extra that that you cook with it whatever you know whatever dishes uh you're making on top of this uh like i do uh, i'm gonna do a salad with this and uh uh, that's about it. I don't want much more than that, and uh, that'd be enough for me. I'll probably end up eating four of these pieces, though. Uh oh I accidentally poured myself uh, a glass of wine. The edges of the chicken are starting to color in, and it's getting a little brown, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this. Only been about a minute and 15 seconds, and you can tell by just touching it that this is ready to come off. If you don't want them overcooked. So you are going to put them back in the pan. So I'm just taking them out and we're ready to go here. So the next step to this is to start the sauce. So the sauce has a splash of white wine in it. And that's cooking down. And then I'm going to add 
some lemon juice. That's a quarter. That's another quarter. Oops, I got a little bit. And another quarter. Which should be plenty. The uh, next ingredient are the capers. Now these taste a bit like uh, gin. In they go. And then I'm just going to give them a stir around and I'm going to let this start to cook down. The capers and the white wine are starting to uh, cook down with the uh, lemon juice. So there is one last step to this. I'm going to add about another good sized knob of butter. And the reason why you do that is that the butter acts as a thickener and also, of course, adds flavor. As you can see, it's a good sized piece of uh, butter. It's about uh, two uh, tablespoons. It's starting to melt the butter down and it's starting to thicken up and uh, my glass of white wine is just delicious. Taste the sauce to see what, what it tastes like. Oh yeah, that's lemony. The sauce is cooked down a bit and we're just gonna go ahead and put the chicken pieces back. So enjoy this. I just laid all the uh, pieces in back into the pan and uh, I'm letting them cook in the juice for, or the sauce for about uh, five minutes. Uh, as soon as I see that it's um, thickened up more, um, I'm going to turn it off because I don't want it to overcook. And when I'm ready, I'll just heat it for dinner. I'll just heat it back up real quick and um, lay this on a platter with the sauce. Uh, and you can put uh, little lemon slices all over it and uh, you're done. Well, thanks for watching uh, An Old Man in a Frying Pan. And uh, as I always say at the end of my video, uh, don't forget to subscribe.